Hi and welcome to the second part of this little series about building applications in C++ with Qt and Boost. Um, today actually you know, it's the first part where we go into code um, where I am going to show you um, a little bit how to display trees in a Qt tree view and that is the focus of uh, this episode is uh, the class which you see already in the video here is a template um, which I use to display the tree and I already also have uh, put online um, the blog post to that um, so that's already online um, if you want to read it go ahead and there's a lot more details and I probably will not be able to, to give you in the video but back to the code um, I mean, this is the template which I use to um, have a generic tree-like class uh, which can store different types for each kind of tree. So the, the basic goal of uh, this class is to be a generic tree uh, which I can use with, a, with another class in Qt as a concrete um, tree model then. But um, one of my goals is with this class to completely uh, have no um, dependencies to Qt. Um, this is only a class which is displaying a tree in kind of like a modern C++. And um, I'm going to increase the, um, the font a little bit so that we can see a bit more of um, I think one more is okay okay so um, also as you see I run uh, Qt Creator in uh, presentation mode so you can see all the key presses I do on the keyboard um, and let's start just at the top of the class um, as a data type which I store inside the tree I choose boost variant as it enables me to have different types plug in later as acting as a nodes in the tree. Um, I also have different classes for visitors. Um, and then the actual types as a variadic template, um, which is then um, later put in a, in a boost variant. And also in this Field. You directly can see I, I use a lot of using and I completely switched from type devs, which I never liked, to using. And using is really cool and lets you really um, improve the readability of your code. And using is also available with templates, which type devs never worked for. So um, this tree class has a few things which it needs to do. Um, first, of course, it needs to store the current node as a variant and it needs to contain um, its children and um, then I have a weak pointer back at the parent which uh, directly brings me to shared pointers. Um, for this time I, I am opting to use shared pointer. I usually try to avoid using shared pointer but in this case it really makes sense as uh, the, the nodes will later be shared with, with views and other things. Um, and in order to be able to actually also uh, get a shared pointer for the current instance, which is this pointer, um, I have to derive the class from um, enable shared from this, which brings me to the implementation. Um, there are two constructors for this class. Um, both of them take a weak pointer to the parent um, which is already the basic constructor for the reason that I need to be able to construct the uh, the root node and that's basically the constructor which is used by the, by the root node and the second constructor which also takes a value for the variant um, is the actual constructor which is used by um, the M place back which we see down here, which is the last, basically the last method I'm going to talk about probably. Um, then um, those methods here, which you see, are the basic, the, the public interface, um, which is a bit influenced by the Qt model system 
for example, I return a lot of ints, which usually should or could be size t, but uh, Qt does sizes with integer, with int, so I use int here too. Um, and actually, the, the first function, the, the, row, the row method, um, is required to return minus 1 if it's uh, not finding the position of the child in, um, in the parent, which we see here. Um, this method is simply, um, if there is no parent, it returns 0. And in the other way, we, we obtain the shared pointer via lock and call it the method child pos uh, child pos which is basically down here and um, I simply use std find to to find the item in the position within and obtain the iterator and if the iterator is uh, you know if, if the item is actually a child of this node I will uh, return the difference between the the current iterator and the begin which then exactly gets the position gives gives the position in uh, the tree and in the other way I'm required to return minus one. Um, child count is easy, just returns the, the size. Um, get parent is easy. Get child um, is also pretty easy. Um, returns an empty uh, shared pointer if you know the, the we're out of range. Um, Currently, I prefer not to throw exceptions for things like that, as uh, Qt itself does not use exceptions, and um, usually that should not happen. So maybe I should you know, later add some logging or something in here. Then there are three special methods which basically act currently as an interface to the data. Um, the first one is the type ID, which returns the type ID of the actual type inside the variant. The second one is the, uh, the returning ID, which is later probably, you know, the, the, the database ID belonging to this uh, actual instance. And um, for now, most importantly, uh, the function which returns in the string, which is displayed in, in, the, in the tree view uh, name. And as you see, all of those uh, apply a visitor to the boost variant. And let's have a look at uh, one of those visitors. Um, they're currently uh, here under visitors. Let's pick the name visitor. Um, I guess we can make it a little bit bigger. So, um, you see, just a, a, a class derived uh, from static visitor, which only has a, a template method, which is a call operator and we return tget name. So um, the, the uh, static interface for all types in the tree must be that they have a get name function. And uh, this get name method is in, in the uh, Qt style. Uh, so usually just let's Qt create it, those generate. And let's go back. There we are now. The last thing left in, in, in this class is the um, template method mpress back. Uh, I chose to implement this as a template method because it makes sense to give the actual type to the method, then forward it to the constructor of the variant, and then construct with sh uh, make shared the actual shared pointer and then place this into the children's vector. Um, and that's already this class. This is just a container for a tree, and that's the one single purpose it has. Um, the reason I use shared pointer for it is also that I need to have the whole tree stable in memory, because the next class, which I'm going to look at, is the item tree model. And the item tree model uh, needs to store often raw pointers to the actual nodes in the tree. Though so this item tree model class is responsible for actually plugging 
the tree into the views and giving the views access to the tree and returning the data needed to display the tree to the views in an acute model way. And therefore it is derived from Q abstract item model, which is also derived from Q object in, in the hierarchy. So this is a class which will get processed by the mock. And um, first thing I do is define a little, little helper, which is my tree item, um, which is the actual tree item which I'm using, which has a different um, visitors and dear and page as the classes which go into the variant. Um, dear and page are currently the two proto classes uh, which serve as a simple model to, to be displayed in the tree. And um, then there is a shared pointer for root. Plus, um, I have a container, a boost flat map, um, which stores uh, a size T and a Q icon for the icon in the actual tree view. Um, the size T in this case here is a type ID hash. And then I continue by actually giving some um, type devs for item pointer and constant item pointer, which are just pointers to my item. This is very, very frequently used into in this class, so that's why I did that. Blow follows the implementation. Uh, first, the standard constructor of uh, a cute object is a, is a parent. Um, then the five methods which are re-implementing the uh, interface for the model and, uh, and then there is the employee me spec method, uh, which I have to re-implement for the model, and a simple insert icon uh, method. Okay. So let's have a quick look at uh, employee spec before we step into the uh, CPP file of this class. Um, again, I have implemented this as a template method. The employee spec method in this case takes also a Q model index, which is basically the parent uh, where this method, where, where this should be emplaced in. And it simply forwards to the emplace method of the item class, um, but needs to call begin insert rows and end insert rows to notify the view. And this method needs to be called and used if the item tree model already has being displayed in a view. So when when the class actually is being uh, put to a view with set model, then and in all other cases I need to be using this employee spec method instead of the one in the in the item tree class. Let's jump in the CPP file then, and you see with pressing F4 I can jump between uh, header and implementation file. Um, there's a standard constructor up there which uh, creates root with make shared and uh, forwards the parent uh, parameter from the constructor to the constructor of the abstract item model class. Um, there's index which has a role to create an index or return an empty index if that index already exists. Um, this is done simply by um, querying the, the parent and then querying the, the child, the correct child within the tree, and then create index is called with um, calling child get and casting this to a void pointer and draw and column that is then just forwarded into a method which is uh, implemented by Qt. Um, very similar game by the parent method. Um, and then we see row count and column count. Column count simply returns one because we also always have only one column. Uh, row count returns the child count of either root or um, the current parent node. Which, which leaves us with data. Um, data simply returns uh, the which leaves us with data and um, data has a simple role to return for for different roles different data to the back to the view 
and therefore it uses a Q variant. And we simply again access the actual item of our data holding class. And I switch the role, and in case of the display role, I call um, Q string from SDD string and name. Um, my backend classes, the uh, actual model classes, shall uh, only have like. which leaves in this class uh, the data method, which simply returns the needed data to the model, which is displaying or querying data from the, from, from the actual model. Um, so the basic function of this method is to either return an empty queue variant, meaning that there is nothing to display, or um, displaying for once in the queue display role uh, the, the name which is displayed or um, the decoration rule, it's returning the icon. And in every other case, it's just returning the MCQ variant. Which brings us already to the end of this episode. Um, recording has taken almost uh, three hours now, and um, there's just one thing left, and that's, let's have a look how the whole thing is instantiated. Um, in the constructor of main window, there is a uh, First, the style element from Qt is used to access the standard icon here. Um, I get the type ID for uh, the end page, construct the tree item model, create like a dummy tree, and set the model. So, last thing left is to quickly run the application. And um, I've progressed this week a little bit more. Um, there is an option to add new items to the tree. I can't yet delete them, but I can display a menu. Um, I have built a factory, which is actually the main topic next week, how to build a factory to um, make new objects for the tree and how this is connected to the tree and how I uh, handle events from the tree next week.